Hey, hey developers, so today we are going to look at the VS Code Superhero course by Jesse, aka CodeStacker. This is a pretty cool interactive course that has a video component, it has an ebook component. I'm going to talk about why you guys might be interested in checking it out. And also, if you stick all the way to the end, there actually might be a bonus for you. So, anyway, so let's just jump into it. I will put a link for this course in the description below and also in the comments. So if you want to purchase it, it actually helps out Jesse, it helps out me, and I think you might want to check this out. It's actually pretty cool. So let's see, yeah, let's just dive into it. First, and I want to mention that this course is created by Code Stacker. Now, if you don't know, he has a YouTube channel where he does tons of VS Code videos, he does crash courses, and uh, yeah, his name's Jesse, great guy. So I'll put a link to his YouTube channel below if you haven't already checked it out. He actually just did a video on some of his favorite YouTubers. I actually got a mention in it, so... Uh, I thought I would mention his channel too. And his course is the VS Code Superhero video course. There is a couple different options. Let me show you guys. So there is, you can buy the course, just the video course, or you can buy the ebook, or you can buy them together. And I'll make sure I have a link for this in the description below. Uh, let's take a look what happens if you get the ebook. Now, the ebook looks like this, and it's over 100 pages long, it's 99 pages long and it just kind of deep dives into VS Code. So if you are brand new to VS Code, this is perfect for you. If you just kind of stepped into VS Code and you don't know how it works, I think this is also a pretty good essential for you to learn it. Now, uh, I, I wanna show you here, this is the table of contents. You can see here, they have about the offer, author, what you're gonna cover, and then they go into the UI, and then customizations, uh, themes, maps, optional extensions. So that's one thing I always hear. People love in VS Code, like what extensions to use and this book covers it. And then it also goes into the writing and formatting code, how to use Emmet, CSS, snippets. So I thought maybe we can just like look at this, kind of poke around this ebook a little bit. Um, I have read, I've been using this more of as a, as a reference and it's pretty good. So for example, uh, if you look at the user interface, it gives you like a deep dive into what the user interface is, what to expect, like how to use the sidebar, how to use Explorer and searches, and what the hotkeys are for them. You can see here, can Command Shift Shift P or F1, the command palette for the win, and kind of how to use the the whole VS Code and what and kind of the recommended best practices in using it. Now, if a book isn't your style. He actually has a full video course on this as well. And the video course comes with quite a few things. It actually comes with uh, with some resources. Obviously, it has links to where you can download VS Code. But I didn't know this. CodeStacker has his own, obviously, this is free. You don't have to buy the course to get it. But he has his own VS Code theme, which is really neat. So if you want to check out his theme, you can do that. But it also gets you access to some really cool things. You get a... Uh, get cheat sheet, which is just something really nice you can print out. It also gets you a keyboard shortcuts cheat sheet. I'm not going to show you all of it, but you know, just a real quick cheat sheet that you can use, kind of post up while you're learning. Those are pretty nice. And then he has his own settings.json to see how he did it. And uh, he has his own stacker code font, which I didn't even know that code stacker has his own font that you can use too. Now, I, the way I kind of think the best way of using this program is to get the book and the video series at the same time, because I think it really lends itself uh, well to each other. So what you could do is as you're reading the book, you can then go back to the video series and then look up whatever part that may be confusing to you or you want more information on. So for example, he has a whole section on, on the video series on different uh, extensions. So if you wanted to see like how Quokka works, you can click on Quokka here, you can play it, and then he goes into how Quokka works. I won't go into it too much, but you can see here, he explains how to install it, some things that you should uh, look out for, and what he recommends for it. By the way, I use Quokka, I'd highly recommend it. It's kind of a neat little plugin to, to do um, some rapid prototyping. He also has uh, sections on writing formatted code, like how to set up different Emmet. So if you're kind of getting stuck in the book at any time, then you can look at the video series, which is great. I kind of kind of deep, I jumped around and looked at a few of the videos and, and used that while I was reading the book. Uh, something also, he goes into Git, so it's not just about 
The book isn't just VS Code. He goes into the, some of the Git basics, how to install it, remote repositories, how to use the integrated terminal in VS Code. I don't know, some people don't realize there is a uh, integrated terminal and he even has a section on Git Bash. So if you're using the Windows subsystem for Linux, you can actually use VS Code and use WSL inside of it. And it just makes things a lot easier. And that's actually what I do for my um, for my videos a lot of the times when I'm on Windows and not on Mac. Talks about collaboration. Debugging, I think this is a really great section. Debugging can get pretty complicated. So watching a video of how to set up the VS Code tools to do debugging is really nice because it actually is built in to VS Code. And then he has a whole section on Dockerization too and Docker containers. And I found this is is pretty, pretty good too to watch. Uh, and this is all really covered in the book as well. So if you prefer the book, you can also jump in here and just use this as the, kind of the guide of where you want to go. So for example, uh, I think Docker, you see here's the section on Docker and remote containers. And then I would go back and look at the video to get more explanation of how to use it. So yeah, so, so that is in a nutshell, what this book is, I mean, like I said, it's over a hundred pages. It's, pr it's 99 pages. It's pretty long. It has a really good video series to go along with it. I would highly recommend it. Now for those of you who've made it, let's see here, we don't do any editing in this video. We're just going to go straight out. So for those of you who've watched seven minutes, I want to thank you and I appreciate you, but I actually have a free copy of this amazing course with the video and ebook. And I wanted to give it, I want to give it away to uh, one single person that has watched all the way to this point. Cause I really appreciate you and code stacker. I actually haven't asked him yet, but he will be offering me, giving me one copy of this. I, I did, I did talk to him about this, but I need to uh, get it from him. He did give me one free copy so I can give it out to one of you guys to check out. So the, what you need to do, to get a copy of this first, I would highly recommend just buy it. it. If you just check out the ebook and you can always, by the way, if you buy the ebooks like 30 bucks, if you decide at some point that, that you want the full course, you can pay the difference. Code stacker will take care of you. But for those of you who want to try to get lucky, I will put, I will give away one free copy, but all you need to do is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I will be checking and that you like this video and you leave a comment. That's pretty much it. You have to leave a comment. I will find the person that has, uh, and also mention the comment that you are interested in in the course and tell me a reason why you would like to get it. And I will look through all the comments. I will find the most wor worthiest person that I want to gift it to. I might do it randomly, but I might check to see what you say as well. And we will get you a free copy of this course. Now, a little housekeeping for those of you who are still here, and I really appreciate you uh, nine minutes in. I have been super busy. I am doing a React versus View video. Not really View versus React, more like comparing the two. I almost had it ready for today, but it's not quite ready. So I'm going to probably release it next week. Uh, so keep, uh, so let me know in the comments below too if you want to see that video, because that is another thing that I'm really excited about is trying to get this React versus Vue video done because I know a lot of you guys are huge Vue.js fans and a lot of you already know React or want to know what the differences are. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to create just a real fun app with that. So that is all I have to say. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Smash that like button. I really appreciate it. Take care. Adios. Later.